Hey guys, Simple Jack here. I originally planned to stream this content, but uh, I was pressed for time, so I had to cancel. So I'm just going to throw together this quick video just to send out the content. Uh, we actually voided against World 157, I think, and it was a good void. It was fun. 157 is a pretty strong world. We actually voided against them two or three months ago. Uh, I don't remember the exact score, but we were able to win that event as well. The final score ended up being Nation 157 at 22.3 billion and our nation, Nation 30, at 31.8 billion. So it was a fairly comfortable margin there. From the start, after four stages, we were probably up by about 800 million points. And then at the start of the kill phase, we just continually built a, a bigger and bigger lead. The reason why I put this video together is uh, I was talking to someone recently and we were discussing really large cities. We're talking 300 million BP and above. Uh, some of them are 400 million or even higher. We were trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way to deal with them when you face them. And um, it's it's not easy because of the constraints that Camel puts on an alliance. You know, you can only have 100 cities maximum. And uh, so you're constrained by the march size of all of your cities on how many troops you can send. So it uh, it makes it very difficult. And hopefully somewhere down the road, Camel does something to somehow address that as these cities really start to get... Uh, really huge. One of the things that we kind of came up with is, number one, you just avoid them, right? Because you don't necessarily have to beat that city to win Void. So avoiding them is, is a pretty sound strategy. Number two, you, if you decide to attack, you need to catch them when their Titans are out, for sure. So you've got to set some kind of trap, or you've got to set some kind of bait to where uh, they're going to make an attack and send their titans, and when their titans are gone, your chances of winning just improved. Number three, try to catch them when they're not able to get reinforcements. Number four, and this is the big one, is you have to send the maximum amount of cities as possible. You, you, your alliance can have a hundred. To get as close to one hundred as possible is, you know what you're going to need. I mean, executing an attack on a city that's 300 million BP or higher, it's going to have to be a perfect attack, especially with timing. So lastly is basically just take the loss. And that's kind of the approach that we took. We, when we attacked small war, we, we knew we weren't going to win, but the idea was on our side, all of our cities would take, you know, a hundred thousand to 200,000 losses per city. And we were hoping to hit him and maybe kill six to eight million troops of his. So, you know, we were, we were willing to take that trade off. Uh, the big fail on our side was basically that uh, uh, they had a ton of reinforcements, which really uh, made it difficult. And we only killed, I don't know, two or three million of his troops, killed or wounded. So uh, it really wasn't the effect the uh, result that we were looking for. But um, nonetheless, it was one of those things where it's just you're fighting a void. Your alliance has like 7.2 billion BP. You've got BP to spare. The enemy is not really fighting. So at that point, you just take the loss and you hope to kill, you know, 9 million of his troops. All right, so let's get into the video here. We've got Small War in World 157. Small War is 383 million BP, so he's a very large city. He's probably one of the larger cities in uh, AOO. So you can anticipate probably around 22 to 28 million troops, somewhere along those lines. So uh, if you're going to attack him, you're definitely going to have to send as many cities as possible. At this point, we were setting up the hit. 
We were shooting for about 75 people online, and you can see me kind of swapping back and forth between the Alliance screen, checking the number. Um, we had designated a time to launch, uh, and we actually had a small problem with that because the numbers got transposed every time it was written. Uh, some people got confused, but that, in the end, that really didn't make a difference because everyone was, uh, was ready. But it's one of those things where you have to be careful on these strikes you you know you've got 70 plus people trying to coordinate an attack you have to be very deliberate and allow for some time whenever you're uh, coordinating that many people as you prepare you definitely want to go ahead and activate your alliance skills uh, designate players to uh, set off your gas bombs and your rampart smasher uh, just before the attack. We set a launch time that was well in advance, maybe 9 to 11 minutes uh, ahead, because we were trying to still gather more players to log in for the attack. And we actually had a another alliance that was baiting to try to get his titans out. But at this point, World 157 really wasn't fighting they had some solo attacks and they had some pretty decent traps, but uh, for the most part, it seemed their group attacks were done or they had just given up. I'll just speed it up here to the point of attack and then let the attack run through. You'll see a few things uh, during the attack. Uh, number one, I because I make videos, I typically don't switch to Brave Star just so I can keep uh, the video on the attack but uh, in this case uh, we knew we were going to lose so I, I switched to Brave Star just to save a little bit of heal time and you'll see kind of what I had to deal with with the lag which in my opinion for me the lag wasn't really that bad it wasn't too much of an issue or it's sad to say that I'm just used to it during the attack uh, I just had a lot of uh, slowness trying to uh, initiate the attack deactivate the shield, uh, and then speed to the target. But for the most part, I was able to get there. Okay, in a second, you'll see the debuffs come up, and then the attack starts, and I'll let this play through. Okay, the attack has ended, and typically what I do is I go to shield immediately. Uh, when I get to my city, throughout the battle you can tell, like I, I kept having to scroll on and off the screen to try to get any kind of fight meter or to just even see the city. So it was the lag was there, but I mean, the result would have been the same either way. So at this point, just before the attack, we were up by about 6 billion points. So the first thing that I did was go straight into the scoreboard to see uh, what kind of effect that attack had, because obviously it was a big loss. Uh, we gave them points, and we wanted to see how bad uh, the damage was as far as 157 versus 30. So we ended up giving up about a billion points. We were ahead by about 6 billion, 
after the attack up by about 5 billion and then by the end of the void war we were we won by about 11 billion i think so uh no real big uh effect there finally i went into the report to see the real damage uh, we had 70 online and 49 were able to land I don't know if that was because of some of the communication issues or some of the lag, but uh, that's just what happened. And they had 49 reinforcements and 43 million total units were defending small war. On our side, between lost and wounded, we had about 13 million. And for 157, they had about 4 million between lost and wounded. Obviously, that's not the result you want to get. So small war is at 26 million troops at that time. Uh, we were able to kill about 2.7. Uh, I'm sure a lot of those were T3 or lower. Not the result we were looking for. We were looking to try to kill about 6 to 8. So now I'm going to jump into our side to take a look at our details. It was just about what we expected. Uh, everyone's going to lose about 100,000 to 200,000 troops. But that's about it, guys. We're facing cities now that are 300 million BP or higher. In this instance, it all came down to the circumstance. World 157 wasn't really fighting. We were winning comfortably, and we felt we could grow that lead. Our alliance BP was about 7.2 billion, so we had BP to spare. We all decided to just take the loss on troops. We, we knew we wouldn't win, but hopefully we could knock a big chunk of his BP off. Definitely not the result we wanted, and hopefully Camel can come up with some creative ways for alliances to deal with huge BP cities. To be honest, we'll, we'll probably do it again. If we have a sizable lead and we know a loss isn't going to jeopardize our win, then we'll definitely target another one. Just clean up the attack, get more online, and follow the game plan. It's just that simple. Okay guys, that is it from here. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.